Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love read. This is for November 23rd through the 29th, however time is fluid. So whenever it comes to you, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. If it does resonate, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We are so close to that thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. I can't even like contain myself. I'm very excited. So thank you to everyone that has assisted in getting us to this first like big hurdle. I honestly can't wait until like I have the authorization to do like the first live video from the phone. I know I'm crazy, but the list the little things, right? The little things in quarantine that make us so happy. If you are new, welcome. I am an intuitive, and so what you get out of the cards here may not be traditional, okay? That makes sense. Thank you, Spirit. Um, and so just take what's yours, leave the rest. Um, you may find that... Um, roles are reversed. You may find that if there's a third party situation, that that's what I'm actually reading. Okay. Um, so just go with it. Whatever's light is yours. Whatever is heavy is not. All right. I always start out my readings by pulling a card for the collective. Okay. For my personally channeled mindset unicorn deck. That way, if the rest of the reading is not for you, you're getting some sort of spirit guidance and you know, you're taking your time to come here and I want to make sure that you get something out of it. All right, so you get the red chakra. The power and strength of the red energies bring you courage and motivation for what you must do today. Connecting to vitality, belief, and inner strength. Okay, so you're really grounded, but what's pointed out to me by spirit is what you must do today. Okay, so whenever you're coming upon this, there is something that you have to do today. And, you know, it may be something that you feel like you have to just really ground yourself out to work through it. And there's a lot of things like that these days, okay, where we can easily be pulled up into the upper world, but you're being guided, whatever this is, ground yourself first ground yourself and get it done. Okay. Now for this reading, I feel like it could be about some sort of a heart to heart conversation with inner voice here. And it's about bringing back the stability and the alignment. Okay. Of your emotions here. And you know, you have to do it. You may not want to do it, but you know that it's for your best interest, okay? Overall energy is the magician, but it came out crossed with the page of wands. Okay, so you may be trying to manifest something, but somebody keeps getting in the way, okay? Um, this could be just somebody's energy, it could be like at work, you know, when you're trying to get some project off the ground and someone keeps blocking you and obstacles again and again and again. Um, and it could be just that. It could be you're trying to manifest love and, um, you know, your mom's like, nope, that's not the one. Nope, that's not the one. Nope, that's not the one. Okay. But something's blocking it. In the past, I do feel like you made a hard decision, all right? Two of Wands, it was definitely a head over heart decision where you went with logic over what heart wanted. Current energy is that you could be going through a transformation because whoever was out pulled you back in, okay? Um, they're showing me. Project Runway, they're like, one minute you're out, or one minute you're in, the next minute you're out, okay? 
but this person is back in. They're coming back around or perhaps just coming back around in your energy field or your friendship circle and it's really triggering you to release these last sort of limiting beliefs um, or old paradigms that are attached to this person. Future energy, okay, is brand new beginning, the fool. Your head will be in the game. You will not quite be ready to leap forward to it because it's going to take a little bit. There is this energy with the Knight of Swords here where I'm really getting that there is this almost like you're going against the wind. And if you look, everyone's going at their own sort of pace. Now, when you're out biking as a team, okay, you all get in a line and the person that has the most stamina is at the front of the line breaking through the wind. When they get tired, they fall aside, they come back around to the very back and the next strongest person takes over and they break the wind and it makes it easier for everyone behind them. Well, someone's not going to make it easy for you. Okay. And it could be a couple of someone's, but even though you feel stuck in the moment, it's not going to impact your mindset because your head is in the game. All right. So let's clarify a little bit. Okay, so you have been trying to, in Scorpionic season, in some sort of way, shape, or form, you have been trying to manifest this King of Wands coming back around passionately to you, okay? Even though what you're saying is, I'm walking away, I'm done with this, I've completely left this behind, um, chariot in reverse, no. You haven't. You haven't left behind the passionate connection. Okay. And that energy is stopping you from whatever else you're trying to manifest here. Okay. In the past. All right. You turned away from <coughs> I feel like the imbalance with this person and the pain that it caused. Okay, the Six of Pentacles here with the Ten of Swords. Now, we had the Queen of Pentacles come out across the King of Wands. It could have been that you know, you had to set this person free in order to free yourself, okay? In order to find that, that zen that was missing within your house, perhaps your house is your temple, your body. Um, you had to set this person free. Your heart didn't want to. Your heart... You know, your passions still do not want to. But your mind was like, mind logic wins today. Okay? So here's the thing, okay? This person coming back in, in whatever way they are, okay, that is your wish fulfilled. And your belief is, okay, again, two of wands. 
but with the tower in reverse, okay? You will make a different decision this time if this person has transformed, okay? If they come in bringing you your wish fulfillment, you're like, yeah, they come in bringing me all the check checks on my list. Yeah, they've done the work. I'm choosing differently. I'm choosing this person. But just the energy of this person creates tower for you. Okay. Okay, future energy here. All right. Your guard is back up. Okay. But it's up with the Four of Wands. So, Nine of Wands, Four of Wands. There's this feeling of, I feel like, like you're happy and you're sad all at the same time. Now, it could be that this person, okay, coming back in, reconnecting, kind of starting things back up within your mind, okay? If you look at this Four of Wands, you can see that sort of bubble I had. And to me, it's coming through today as an idea. However, okay, you're guarded about this. And the reason is, is because the last time, all right, five of wands with the three of cups, this was an overcrowded house. You didn't get the celebration that you desired. Instead, you got um, some pain, some suffering, some internal fighting, all right? And that's not what you want to manifest at all. thing with this person okay there's something about them that makes you feel balanced okay this time you've been waiting for them every other time it feels like you've taken the first step but this page of wands is not picking up that wand okay you've waited for them so when the message comes in when the connection energy comes in to you that's a beautiful thing, okay? Yeah, King of Wands, picking up the wand this time. All right. There's the Empress, okay? That's the energy that you want. You want to have that, okay? But there's still hearts that are broken here. There's still something that has you, yeah. This person, I feel like they're if they come to you, there's still something that they are tied to, and that makes you sad, okay? Okay, in the past here, the reason that you had to let them go is that you had put yourself out there. There's the fool, okay? Stepping on the ice, knowing it's risky. But they didn't see you in that. The way that they acted, you felt like they don't see me. They don't see my value. Okay? And no, I'm not going to play the game you want to play. Okay? I'm not going to share you Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm not going to play that game, okay? Yeah, Six of Cups, this person coming back, 
around is your wish fulfilled. Seven of Cups, okay. I feel like even if they're coming back, um, just thinking of the possibility is your wish fulfilled because it gives you a sense of this being something worth fighting for, okay? Yeah, okay, future energy, Ace of Cups. But with the Five of Swords. So again, new beginning, but same thoughts, okay? Same fears, same blockages. But Page of Cups, okay, shows that this is um, coming through differently. Yeah, whatever this is, it's coming through as the Ten of Cups. Now, because it's the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups, there's a possibility that just this person's energy coming through, okay, is going to clear you so that you can open up to something new. But you're bringing some of the old baggage with you, okay? That's the Knight of Swords. Whether it's this person or someone new, there's still some of that old baggage lingering within you, within your heart, within your soul, okay, that needs to be cleared out. Yeah, here's the thing. You know that you want this person even when it's imbalanced, you know that you want this person, okay? Seven of Wands, Temperance in Reverse. And that they are a very divine connection. Four of Wands here twice. Okay, you could see yourself living forever after with this person if they would just get things right. Yeah, choose wisely, okay? This person, they are still wearing a little bit of a mask and... Um, they are revealing more of themselves, but, um, you know, the mask is a mask. Use your best judgment, okay? Look at their house. Look at their, how they are in, are they in order? Are they not in order, okay? Bottom of the deck, what you want is an emperor. And what is unseen to you is that this, whatever this new love is, whether it's this person or someone new, you're getting an emperor. Okay, you may not see it yet, but the empress is getting the emperor. Okay, so matched power couple here. All right, so I'm going to move into the extended. I'm going to take a look at what else spirit wants to guide into this reading what else is going on with all of this. The link is down below for Patreon, and I hope to see you there. All right, bye.